Ladies and gentlemen, today, like every year on the 16th of September, we raise the curtain on European Mobility Week. And like every year, we focus on the towns and the cities across the continent and celebrate their role in our lives. Better Connections is the theme we choose for 2022. It reflects our common wish for more sustainable mobility and inclusive mobility for our citizens. Because towns and cities are indeed places where we connect to each other. But let's not forget, in terms of mobility, towns and cities prove to be laboratories for new vehicles and solutions. Last year, the cities of Castle and Valongo won the European Mobility Week Awards for their creativity in bringing local and regional transport partners together through new routes and activities for their new holistic infrastructure, integrating walking, cycling and public transport, all encouraging behavioural change in children and adults. All these excellent examples fulfil the Better Connections goal and result from solid local policy and planning approaches. In December last year, we proposed that urban nodes above 100,000 inhabitants must design and apply sustainable urban mobility plans to improve their mobility within their limits and to make better connections with their surroundings. Of course, one size does not fit all in this case. Every city has its specificities, from architecture to citizens' behaviour, and the best solutions are the ones that best serve the city's inhabitants. Sustainable urban mobility plans can help reduce congestion, accidents, pollution and emissions by reorganising the circulation plans, introducing low emission zones, developing safe bicycle lanes or creating new multimodal hubs, just to name a few examples. They also contribute to building interconnections between cities and municipalities for both passengers and freight, which is part of the bigger picture for building the TNT network across Europe. I would like to use this opportunity to send my support to the nearly 50 Ukrainian towns and cities that have taken part in previous European Mobility Weeks. Many have been devastated by Russia's unprovoked and unjustified invasion. We miss these members of the European Mobility Week family very much and look forward to them joining us again once peace has returned to Europe. Last year, the week's 20th anniversary, we had a record 3,200 towns and cities from across Europe taking part showing their commitment to cleaner urban transport. We'll soon know the final figures for this year. In the meantime, I'd like to thank the national coordinators for making the European Mobility Week the success it is and for liaising with local authorities year after year. Now, let's all make the most of this week. Thank you.